the idea of the block universe still today is not understood well. In the model of black of uh, block universe, there is no physical time. There is only space, and this space is time invariant. Okay. So in the block universe, everything happened only in space. In the block universe, there is no past and there is no future. So we have a motion in space. Motion means that a given physical object is changing is changing position in space in space from A to B. In the block universe, motion is real, but it does not happen in time. It happens only in space. And what is time? Time is when we measure duration of motion with clocks. We measure duration from A to B with clocks. Clocks, clocks are moving, are ticking only in the space, not in time. So duration is the result of using clocks and comparing motion with the clock's motion. Okay. Duration as, as, as a physical quantity enters existence when, when measured by the observer. If there is no measurement, there is also no duration. There is only motion. So we have we have some stream now in the physics and maybe also psychology that emotion is illusion. I mean that this is absolute failure. Illusion is that motion happens in some physical time. So when we experience motion, we experience motion through the linear time, past, present, future, which has a physical origin in the neuronal activity of the brain. That's why we experience everything in time. And there are some people which have a little bit higher cognitive, cognitive abilities. Somehow they are with one leg out of the psychological time and they have a feeling now that something is wrong in this idea. Yes. The idea that things happen in time is very, very wrong. And when we measure once we measure motion, we get duration, and duration is emergent physical reality. So this idea of that there is no time of, of Fiscaletti, uh, uh, Barbour, uh, and others, uh, Rovelli also, uh, this is a good idea. But we have to go on. If there is no physical time, we have to understand what we measure with clocks. With clocks, we measure velocity and duration of motion. Yeah? Actually, we measure only duration. Out of that, we can calculate velocity. And clocks are running differently in different areas of the universe. On the satellites, GPS satellites, clocks are running faster because of the general relativity effect for uh, 45 microseconds. And they are running slower because of the special relativity effect for seven microseconds. So the difference is 38 microseconds faster. And there is no Mm, twin paradox. Twin on the moon is aging faster than twin on the earth because on the moon clocks are running a bit faster. 
Okay, there is no paradox here. So everything what happens, happens in time invariant space that we experience as now. In the universe, the only time is now. And this now is eternity itself. And there are not many people coping this, but anyway, the day will come, they will cope. 